the new results are very encouraging. What, what it shows is that the vaccine um, both is very well tolerated, exactly as we'd expect with this type of vaccine, very, very similar safety profile to previous vaccines of this type. And perhaps really importantly, we're seeing exactly the right type of immune responses. So we're seeing antibodies which can neutralize the virus. Um, when we study them in, in the laboratory, and also a type of white blood cell which we think is really important for fighting the virus called the T cell. But we still have to get one further step forward which is to prove that the vaccine actually protects people because at the moment we don't know what level of immune response we need for protection. The reason why it's hard to answer the question how far away we are is it depends entirely on how many cases occur in the months ahead in our clinical trials around the world that will allow us to determine whether the vaccine is protecting people. We are um, actually running trials internationally in many different sites around the world. That's really important because a successful vaccine needs to work in all populations. But it also means that we've got many more people around the world vaccinated and increases our chance of getting an endpoint of protection which will tell us whether the vaccine could be used. If we are able to demonstrate protection in the clinical trials, the next step after that is that all of the data on the manufacturing and the trials has to be put before the regulators and they have to assess uh, the quality of the data and the product which could be used in the future um, for, for populations and make a decision about whether uh, that is sufficient to take it forwards into deployment. And then of course if they say yes, we still have the policy makers um, who have to decide how it should be used. Usually that's quite a prolonged process and takes many months or even a year or more to go through that process. Um, I, I don't know what the regulators will do in this situation, but I think it's likely that they will want to do their reviews as quickly as possible and put big teams on it, just as we've seen all the way along through this process, to try to avoid those, uh, those uh, reviews um, being a roadblock to being able to move rapidly forward. So they still need to have exactly the same quality, but you need more people to do it to make it happen quickly.